We are trying to diagnose infectious conditions that threaten the lives of preterm babies and we're trying to diagnose them much earlier than has generally been done. I am Katie Brenner, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in biochemistry. Very soon, we will be able to say whether or not a baby is at high risk of developing metabolites, chemicals in the urine that can tell us if a baby is getting sick. I was pregnant with our daughter. We had an emergency section two and a half weeks early. When you give birth, you really want your baby there and she was not there, she was in the NICU. I can understand how it feels to give birth and then your baby's not there and there's fear about their survival. So that really inspired me to try to do something to help those families. It's possible to have a family and to be very present with your kids and also to pursue science. When I was thinking about doing this study, every single person was like, well, the problem is you're never gonna get enough subjects. It turns out what you need to do is you need to use a waste product. We actually take diapers from the NICU back to the lab, store them in a freezer, and when it's time, we actually dismantle the diaper and throw the part that has the urine in it into a blender. With a little bit of optimization, we can extract the urine back out of those diapers and retain the metabolites. This discovery should enable us to reduce the levels of antibiotics given to babies, and it should allow us to save these babies' lives. I think Katie is extremely innovative. She does not perceive barriers to accomplishing the goal that she's seeking. The project that Katie's doing is a whole new era for neonatology. It takes us from our best guess to actually having information that will let us make the best possible choices for the babies. I'm a problem solver. I've always been somebody who's kind of saw something wrong and wanted to fix it. There are so many problems that women are especially tuned into that need solving. And so we need women to be aware of those problems and to bring them into science. My hope for this project is it's gonna enable us to develop point of care diagnostic tools, which allow us to take diagnosis and either to send babies home if they're healthy or to keep them and treat them early if they're not.